What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 18 delivers the biggest update ever to the iPhone's calculator application and after 14 years of waiting, the calculator app is also available on the iPad with iPadOS 18. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything new in the calculator app and how to use it to its full potential with features like math notes, the built-in unit and currency converter and more. Okay, so let's start with the iPad and then we'll move on to the differences between iOS iOS 17 and iOS 18 on the iPhone's calculator app. So one of the first things you'll notice after updating to iPadOS 18 is that you have a calculator application on the home screen. This has been a long time coming and I think that the wait was worth it. So if you go into the calculator app, you can see at first it's pretty unassuming. It looks like a typical, very basic calculator application, but there's a lot to it. So once you start typing out a math problem, you'll notice a few changes pretty much right away. So first off, we do have a backspace button now so you can backspace instead of having to swipe with a swipe gesture like we had to on the iPhone. So you can just press on the backspace and if you want to remove everything, you can just tap and hold on that backspace button. And you'll notice that as you're typing, you see the full expression. No matter how much you put in there, you will see the full expression. And once you tap on equals, you can see up top that you can see the expression along with the result. And if you want to change something, you could just tap on the original expression up top and from there you can backspace and maybe change it to something different. Now you'll also notice up here in the top left hand corner we have a new button that looks like a sidebar icon. So if you go ahead and tap on that, this is where we get our history. So this is going to show you the history of every problem that you solved previously. And it's also, you know, like a calendar. So it says today, it will say yesterday, past seven days, it will show all of that right there. You can tap on edit and you can go ahead and either delete or delete all at once. And you can even copy previous expressions. So if we go down to this one right here and we tap and hold on this, you get the option to copy expressions. So we can copy what we typed out to get the results or you can just copy the result itself. Okay, so now we're gonna tap on this little calculator icon down in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, when you tap on that, we have multiple new options. So first off, let me go ahead and enable this convert kill switch right there. So once you have that turned on, you will notice that we have a slight interface change here. So by default, it's to US dollars to euros. That could be different based on your region, but that's what mine is. So for example, if I typed in $96, it instantly updates to show me what that equates to in euros. Now we can change that right here. So we could tap on either USD or euros, and we can go ahead and change that right here. So if I go to euros, for example, I can change that to maybe something like the Dominican peso. And we can see that updates in real time. And over here on the left, we have these two arrows, which allows you to switch places between USD and DOP in this instance. Now, if we tap again right here on these arrows next to whatever we're converting, you'll notice that we have quite a few different things to convert. So we have angle, we have area, we have currency, we have data, we have energy, and the list goes on. You can pretty much convert anything in here, which is quite amazing. You could also search for something that you want to convert as well. Because again, there are so many things to convert in here that it would take me an hour to go through all of them. And you can even do math problems in this section. So it gets a little bit advanced, but if you do like nine times nine gigabytes, you can see what that is in bytes. So you can do these expressions, you know, even if I do like this, for example, divided by five, you can see that everything updates in real time, no matter how complex, which is pretty impressive. Now, if we go back to the calculator icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and go to scientific, this is where it also gets a bit interesting. So we're going to have to go in here and disable convert because we're not going to be using convert anymore. So we'll go ahead and remove everything here. You can see that we have a full scientific calculator now on the iPad. No need for a third party application anymore. Let's go on to something that is pretty much the star of the show when it comes to the calculator application, and that is math notes. So if we head into math notes right here, you will get the splash screen at first that tells you how this works, but I think it's better if I just show you how it works because it can be kind of confusing. So the first thing to note is that you do not have to do this straight from the calculator application. So in the calculator app right now, you know, you can see your different notes over here on the left, but if we go into the notes application, the standalone notes application, you'll notice that we have a folder up in the top left called math notes. So if you go into there, 
you can access math notes and do everything the same in notes as you could in the calculator application. So I don't like doing it in calculator. I like going into the notes application itself and performing math notes in there. So let's talk about this. So the premise of math notes is that it allows you to type or write out math expressions and have them solved instantly in your own handwriting. So this is really awesome. And I wrote out a few problems here just to save you some time. But for example, if we type out 10 minus 15 at times 100, and then we just simply put an equal sign next to that, it will automatically calculate that along with a nice animation. And it will show what that result is in your own handwriting. And if you press on the solution, it will show you in typed text exactly what was written in your handwriting. And then we have copy. And then from there, you could also copy the expression or copy the result or you can remove the results and we can see some other examples right here if i just put equals next to everything you can see that everything will give me that result right away but it gets even better than that because i could add on to this and we can see everything change in real time as well so for example if i take this bottom expression right here 41 times 31 maybe i want to add that to be you know we'll just put parentheses and we'll do squared and watch how it updates in real time very quickly. It understands your handwriting as long as it's not super terrible. And if you wanted to add on to that even more, you could just simply remove the equal sign and it will remove the solution. And you could continue to add on right there as well. So you can type in or you could write out all of that. You can also type this as well, by the way. I'm just doing this with the Apple Pencil, but this does also work when you type it out. I just think this is so much more impressive when you are writing it out yourself with the Apple Pencil. So let's go on because this gets even better. So here's an example I have where I have, you know, a list of, let's just say these are expenses or tax deductions. So I have a list of different numbers right here. Take a look at what happens when I just simply put an underline underneath of that. It automatically calculates everything that I wrote down right there and gives me the solution. And again, this will update in real time as well. So if I erased this 50 cents right here, you can see it will take a second and it will rewrite the solution. Same with the 49 cents and same with the point. 012. So if you erase all that, it will give us the new solution. Now, something that's really cool with math notes is that you can declare variables. So if you type out y equals five, math notes is smart enough to know that y is a variable that's equal to five. Same with x is equal to 14 and m is equal to nine. So now you can write out or type out an equation based on these variables. So if I type, for example, y times x times m, divided by M and then put equals, it will solve that for me based on what we have right here. So it will know exactly what everything is equal to and give us the solution. And once again, if we change the value of one of these variables, it will change the solution in real time without you having to update anything else. So if I just put in, let's just make Y 5.5, it will change the solution as you can see right away. If we change X from being 14, we could just erase this whole thing. And now we're going to make X equal equal to, let's just say, we're not going to copy that expression. We'll just say 12. So if we make that equal to 12, it will give us a new solution right here. And if you're wondering how it came up with the solution, maybe if it's wrong and you need to change your handwriting, you can just simply tap on the solution and it will show right here in this preview window exactly what it is detecting. Because I've noticed after months of using this, that sometimes when you get a solution and it's wrong, it's just simply because it did not understand your handwriting. So you may need to go in there and make your handwriting a little bit more legible. Okay, so now I need to show you the craziest part about math notes, and that is the ability to insert graphs based on the expression and the solution. So I typed out this right here, or I wrote this out. And if you press on the equal sign right here, you now have an option to insert graph. And when you press on that, it will create a graph for you. And from this graph, you could actually go ahead and back out of it so you can zoom out or zoom in to any part of the graph that you would like to you have a recenter button up here in the top right to recenter that you can use the edges to make this smaller or larger and move it around to wherever you would like you can even move it behind what you just wrote out and then right here you have this graph button and when you press on this this allows you to graph more than one thing on the graph so if you just want to see you know y equals 5.5 you can select that right there and it will make it a green line you 
You could also press on this if you want to change the color of that. So maybe say, you know, let's just say an orange, for example, you can change that and it will show that on the graph. You could also show a different one on the graph. So we want to have this on the graph as well, along with this right here. If you want to have everything on the graph, you can do that. Now, what's interesting here is that you'll notice it's picking up on this expression right here. It's picking up on this bottom one as you know being a part of this graph as well and you can see it's kind of laggy right here when you have so many things going on at once especially when they're high value so you might notice that but if you press if you have two different you know expressions right here and you press or if you press on the equal sign right here you can insert graph so if it's not already in this graph you can insert it or you can add it on to the existing graph and you can see that option right here that says add to existing graph there's also a kind of hidden feature in math notes where if you hover over a number with your Apple Pencil, you'll get this little pop-up right here. And if you tap on that, that will allow you to tweak the number and make it go up or down. And it will also change the solution in real time as you're scrolling on this wheel. So it's meant for really precise changes like moving up or down just a couple of numbers. And that's why it can be kind of slow if you go real fast. It's meant for more precise changes but this is awesome and this will also apply to graphs as well so if you change something you know with that slider it will change it on the graph in real time as well and once again i mentioned this earlier but you can also do this when typing so i just put 65 plus 90 you can see that when i press the equal sign it will give us the solution right there and you can do everything else as you do while writing it's just so much more satisfying and so much cooler when you're using an apple pencil and writing it out yourself and you see that solution in your own handwriting however the one area where I do think it's really cool to type out the math problems or the currency conversions is inside of the messages application or really anywhere else where you have access to the keyboard but this is really awesome in messages if I type out 90 plus 98 7 987 right there and then put equals you can see it will show it right there also in our predictive text it shows or if you just want to insert in the solution you could just press right there and it will give you that solution and and again this also works for conversion so if I type in you know 90 euros for example and if I put equals it will automatically convert that to USD and it will show right here so if you want to put in the full expression or if you just want to go back and only insert the solution you can do that right there as well so the calculator application on the iPad is absolutely insane but there are also some changes on the iPhone's calculator application as well that I want to show you that have changed from iOS 17 okay so on the iPhone we have iOS 17 on the left iOS 18 on the right so the first thing you'll notice is that the app icon is a bit different so we do have a dark mode icon but also the glyph itself inside is different and now represents the new layout for the calculator itself so when you go into here you'll notice a few differences right away so first off the gray is a little bit darker now than it used to be over here on the left on iOS 17 and really the whole UI has been changed so the font is different it's also a little bit lighter the buttons are different so the buttons are now darker compared to what they were previously the buttons over here they divided by multiply minus plus all that those are a little bit larger and also less orange they're more of a washed out orange now we have the zero down here in the bottom instead of this big zero over here to the left and that's because we have this new button right there which we showed for the iPad section of this video now when you start typing out something you'll notice some differences here as well so before you can see that we had a C over here to clear but now in iOS 18 we have a backspace so before the only way to backspace was kind of a hidden trick you had to swipe over to backspace but now you can do it with a dedicated backspace button you will also notice that the font for everything that you're typing in is different as well so the font size is smaller and it's also thicker and if you start typing out the expression before when you typed out something like if you press on the times it stays highlighted and when you press on the next part of the expression so eight for example it would not show you what you wrote out before that but now in iOS 18 it shows you the full expression as you're typing it and when you press on equals it goes up to the top and it shows you the solution right underneath of it however one thing that's changed is that before in iOS 17 once you got an answer if you pressed on equals again it would continue 
that you know expression right there but now in ios 18 when you press equals nothing happens and if you wanted to change something after already pressing equals you could just press on the original expression and then either backspace or change something in there if you would like and again just like on the ipad you could also press and hold on the delete key to erase all also with ios 18 you're no longer limited on space so before on ios 17 you only had nine characters that can be viewed at once at least in portrait mode so we only have nine no matter how many times we type on nine we only have nine digits right there however on ios 18 it seems to be unlimited you could put as many numbers in here and this also you know is the same for a solution it'll show that full solution in portrait mode you just swipe over and you can see everything that you typed out unlike in ios 17. and then of course we have the same changes i showed in ipad os 18 when you tap right here you get the history so you can see your history you can tap and hold on that to copy the expression or copy the result you could also go ahead to edit and you can delete all if you would like to and then down here when we press on the calculator button this is how you can go to conversion so if you want to convert things you could do that and everything updates in real time and if you press on usd right there you can go between all of these different units that you would like to convert we also now have the scientific calculator in portrait mode so before you could only access the scientific calculator if you went into landscape mode on iOS 17 now there's also some differences here so I'll put these both in landscape mode just for consistency's sake so iOS 18 is up top there are a couple of changes here as well so you'll notice that number one we have more space up top so it's less you know packed in like it was on iOS 17 like for example the degrees and radians button is now over here right next to RAND which is next to the big you know number pad whereas before on iOS 17 that was all the way over here on the bottom left and then we also have calculator settings for the first time on the iPhone so you now have settings calculator and you have access to Siri and search right here so nothing really major but that is something new in iOS 18 so that is the amazing new calculator application on the iPad and on the iPhone with iPad OS 18 and iOS 18 so if you enjoyed this video I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS and iPad OS 18 videos in the future but anyways guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon